वेलकम बैक लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन वेल एस वी ऑल नो आत्मनिर्भर भारत अभियान और सेल्फ रिलायंट इंडिया कैंपेन इज द विजन ऑफ न्यू इंडिया एनविसाइज बाय द ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर श्री नरेंद्र मोदी द एम इज टू मेक द कंट्री एंड इट्स सिटीजन इंडिपेंडेंट एंड सेल्फ रिलायंट इन ऑल सेंसेस ही फर्दर आउटलाइन फाइव पिलर्स ऑफ आत्मनिर्भर भारत economy infrastructure system vibrant demography and demand in our next session everyone we'll hear from prashant kumar singh chief executive officer government e marketplace government of india speaking on gem marching ahead on the path of creating an atmanirbhar bharat welcome mr singh i hand it over to you sir So greetings from Jim. I am P.K. Singh. I am the CEO of Jim, that is the Government E-Marketplace. As you all know, this is an initiative which was conceived uh, through the vision of our Honourable Prime Minister way back in 2016, when there was a, a need to completely disrupt the way procurement is done in the government. If you remember, I mean, people have short memories, but if you remember the earlier procurement system, how tedious and uh, riddled with confusion and corruption the system used to be. states had different rules center had a separate rule even within the the same central uh, rules organizations used to interpret it differently procurement used to happen in silos with localized sellers complaints of cartelization and corruption and with the prime minister's very clear message of uh, zero tolerance for corruption gem came into being it's been a long journey it's been almost over 5 years now and we have grown from a very small platform to now a considerable uh, uh, scale and i would just say that the journey has been very interesting but the journey doesn't end here it is just maybe the beginning wherein we have gotten over all the teething problems we are aware of what the stakeholders require the buyers and sellers it's a typical ecosystem as you know that we have uh, government buyers on one side and all and sundry sellers on the other side so just to give you a uh, basic starting stat we are uh, when we started the journey you know uh, it was with a modest some couple of 100 crores in the first year which went up it became what 7 8000 crore then it jumped to uh, 18000 crore and in the last year it was a uh, 38000 crore and sometime in march uh, of 2021 we crossed the cumulative uh, value of almost a lakh crore in uh, uh, four and a half years and this year i'm happy to share with you this year in the single financial year we are going to clock 1 lakh crore and uh, going by just the value will be somewhere on 1 lakh 10 or uh, so uh, by the year end uh, almost 15 billion dollars by value will be the largest platform in e-commerce space not by numbers number of transactions would be much less than compared to our people who are there in the e-commerce space but then uh, let me also tell you that uh, we are still not we are still far from maturity in the sense that almost on a daily basis the requirements of uh, new functional requirements new developments but the platform is kept evolving but uh, just imagine i'll give you one, one small figure uh on the savings part a lot of people say what is the benefit of jeep well an independent study carried by world bank uh, way back in i think 2020 it said that almost close to on an average 9.75 almost 10% is the savings in terms of uh, value so if you see about uh, i think on 28th of feb we had a cumulative figure of 2 lakh crore so in its year of 4 and 1/2 years 5 years of operation we have ended up saving more than 20000 crore for the government that itself is no mean achievement and going forward this uh, will be a much higher figure i can assure you that as more and more sellers uh, log on to our portal i will just tell you the difficulties we faced when this was started you know every government buyer Uh, i mean for obvious reasons they had a, you know they had they didn't want to let go of the procurement parts and bringing everybody on to a single uh, rule engine a single platform so that everybody can you know transact on that there is a there may be there were huge uh, challenges in the sense that when we came up with all the functionalities every buyer wanted something specific to be done it was maybe a way of saying that we can't come on the gym but then gradually people realized the benefit in people's side coming on to 
it was a very challenging journey indeed but then uh, yes we are happy to say that uh, after four and a half years five years we have done our job to a reasonable level of uh, satisfaction and but the best part is uh, we know our shortcomings every day we are working on that i mean currently we are in a code freeze because of a uh, stqc audit going on but then every week we deploy new functionalities and since inception we have uh, done more than almost 3000 enhancements 200 are currently in the pipeline so that is a level of engagement with the portal on a day to day basis our uh, three fundamentals of gem are transparency inclusivity and efficiency transparency obviously because it's an online system there's no manual interface to a large extent we are a seller agnostic platform the buyer seller don't see each other till the contract is finalized efficiency yes uh, what used to be a procurement cycle of 6 months is now come down to almost 20 days 25 days delivery included maybe 2 months maximum but the best part is assured payment assured and timely payments earlier the supplier used to factor in all those inefficiencies into his bid price they used to expect payments after 6 year 6 uh, months or maybe 1 year today we assure them that yes after the delivery is done after the crack report is generated by the buyer we assure that we will get the payment in 10 days yes there are exceptions and we are working on that but then by and large the payment cycle almost i think 85% of the payments are happening on time which in itself is a large achievement i will just give you some figures on the inclusivity part transparency and efficiency are taken care of by the digital platform but the inclusivity aspect we have almost close to what 7 lakh uh, msme sellers on our platform and of the total order value almost i would say 55 56% has come through this sector only last two years have been difficult for all of us uh, because of covid because the person to person contact was not there we were not able to reach out to people at their area of uh, operation but yes come uh, april and hopefully things will go uh, well for all of us there'll be no more covid and we intend taking up the state engagement on a large way we'll go out to people have more onboardings help them uh, develop their uh, product catalogs understand the requirements factor them in the portal on the technology part i would just say that uh, you know what started off as a technology we were not a technology of 2002 later we kept on evolving patches were done but our main concern was security in such a platform where we commit to the buyers that we are ensuring end to end you know encryption there is no possibility of any kind of you know somebody trying to take advantage of it we have to be extremely particular that the encryption part is totally full proof to that extent we have the best in class globally the encryption technology is it's a same module that we have the hardware security module it is used by sbi it is used by the best in class in the world we also have it in jet so any kind of doubt any person has that you know somebody can have a look at the bit that's all unfounded it has been verified reverified and cross verified by multiple people and it is working on the use of latest technology uh, i would say that you know terms like ai ml blockchain are very loosely used when people mention about advanced technology at gem we are actually implementing these we are actually using these uh, technologies and uh, to talk of ai uh, initially we used to you know find out we have a huge amount of data so we used to find out as to you know how the transactions are happening is there any possibility of any collusion through gener generating of normal sql queries but then we employed we rolled out an rfp and we have engaged an agency which is now able to develop specific ai models which are learning with every transaction that is happening and i'm happy to share that today there is complete visibility and going forward as i see it uh, in the next 9 months or so we'll be not only able to check post transaction any uh, you know something is wrong which has happened even while you are creating a bid there'll be prompts that look something went wrong maybe the uh, spec that you have applied is you no know, is increasing the price uh, to a large extent or maybe you know the product is available in the market this price why are you buying it so high so the buyer will have to take a very conscious call have to take the required approvals to go for a particular uh, price level on the blockchain part i mean it's a very interesting technology uh, we have launched an rfp wherein we want to uh, use this technology for uh, promoting all the gi tag products that is you know that is something which i feel very passionate about uh, my whole organization feels very passionate about these 400 plus gi tag products which actually represent india as a whole it could be you know uh, 
Kanjivaram Sari, it could be Kulu Shawl, it could be the black rice of Manipur, it could be Alfonso mangoes, anything which derives its value because of the geography from where it is produced. Now, the best part is that in such cases, a buyer would require to be satisfied about the provenance that yes, if I'm buying this product, it's an authentic product. We all know that, you know, there are a lot of counterfeits in several products. A Kulu Shawl is manufactured by close to 185 genuine uh, weavers uh, at uh, Kulu, but there are also the uh, likes of Kulu Shawl are manufactured all over uh, Punjab as well. Now, how does a buyer know that this is a genuine product I'm buying? I'm paying for that. I'm paying maybe, you know, five times, six times the price of a fake. So I would be required to be assured that the product is genuine and blockchain technology can provide that kind of a, an assurance. So what we intend to do is, this is not as a part of business development for Jim. This is just to empower all these, I would say five to 6,000 uh, registered authorized users who are manufacturing these or producing these 417 or GI tag products. That yes, we will come to you, we'll empower you digitally, we'll make sure that you come up to a certain level that in case you don't want to transact to the government, you are free to log on to any of the e-commerce portals and carry out your business and sell your fantastic products all over the country. So that project should be launched in the next uh, one year's time, I would say, because the RFP is now live. We'll take about six months of development, six months of training, and then it will be live. The idea behind is that, uh, you know, uh, this technology can be scaled up further. I'll just give you a very small example. Uh, we all take our children to a doctor, you know, for vaccinations and all. There are certain vaccines which require a particular level of temperature to be maintained all along the journey. And if a vaccine is required to be stored at say negative four Celsius, at any point in time, if the temperature is breached, the vaccine becomes uh, you know ineffective. But what is the way that you know a common person like you know uh, you and me when we go to a doctor, we are assured that this vaccine, since its production up to the point of delivery, has been maintained at that level. This can also be done through this technology. So we are trying to develop on this uh, further. And a day will come not very far from future where we can track the entire journey of the vaccine right from the manufacturer's premise up to the primary health center or the, uh, uh, the point where it is good to be uh, uh, injected. There'll be a complete visibility. There'll be an IoT device uh, embedded in it. This will be in the temperature at every five minutes or 10 minutes to make sure that it has been maintained. Now, such is the possibility with technology and we are using that and we're going to use more of it in future. On the issue of inclusivity, as I mentioned, uh, I'll just give you some figures I have in, right in front of me. Uh, we are focusing on artisans and weavers. We are focusing on startups. We are focusing on self-help groups, uh, particularly in case of startups. Today, I mean, if you see the economy, startups are providing a huge promise. I mean, there are, one may say that, you know, out of 100, one may just shine, but the one that shines, it really shines bright. It has got tremendous employment potential. It has got tremendous business opportunities. Today on GEM, we have close to 12,756 startups who have cumulatively transacted close to 6,000 crore on GEM. Now, this is something which we need, which we feel that we are actually, you know, contributing to the efforts, to the call of the Prime Minister for Atmanirbhar Bharat. These are people who are coming up with new ideas, new technology. All they require is they need a ready-made platform where they can market it. Now, we also have the system of a startup runway. You may develop a product, which you know, there is no uh, like product in the market. Now, where do you sell it? How do you sell it to the government? The government wants a, a prior experience, a tested product, multiple uh, you know, vendors with competitions there. We provide the facility that look, if you come up with a unique product, you can register on the startup runway. You can fix the price. We'll showcase it to the buyers. And if the buyer feels the price is reasonable, he can buy it. And I'm again happy to share that tremendous response has been received in uh, some of the startup runway products. I'll mention one particular product, you know, which I think one company, I'm forgetting the name, name right now, which developed a robot, a, human, a scavenging robot, which has the potential to completely eliminate the, you know, this very hated and a very uh, undesirable practice of human scavenging. This robot can go down in a, uh, in a pit. It can do the scavenging automatically without any human interference. Now, these are the ideas we want to propagate and we want to promote on our platform. As we see today, I mean, the, a silent, I would say a silent revolution is um, uh, being witnessed by all of us. 
particularly the Jam Initiative, the Jan Dhan, Aadhaar, and Mobile. Today, I'm happy to see that when I go to buy vegetables, I can pay the vegetable vendor through Paytm, and he happily accepts that. Earlier, there was such a mental block that no, whether money will come to me, somebody may cheat me. But today, it has become the norm. And going forward, the way things are going to be marketed, the kind of uh, pace at which the technology is moving is unimaginable. And we, even in our government setup, we have to keep pace with that. So we are trying our level best to leverage technology to the maximum possible extent, so that we are able to present a world-class platform to our customers, both the buyers as well as the sellers. Some people say that no, our platform is complicated. It is you no know, sometimes you know, there are too many things to be followed. To which I respond that look, this is not a normal ecosystem. This is a government buying. There are certain rules which have to be compulsorily in, uh, implemented in Toto. Now we have this Make in India initiative. We have to offer certain preferences. We have rules related to country of origin products where certain products can't be sold on jail. So embedding all those things and embedding the entire GFR into the system, making sure that the sellers are all verified through their PAN, through their uh, income tax statements, through their uh, you know uh, previous transactions. So they have to go through that rigor of passing those all those tests to be able to sell to a government buyer, which in any case they would have done in offline mode also. So I don't see any uh, uh, problem when you know the portal asks for certain informations. That is just to make the system more foolproof, the system more corruption free, the system more accountable, and the system more transparent. Just to give you a global flavor, uh, when we started, uh, there were public procurement platforms uh, in the world. Collips of Korea was the most established ones, amongst the most established ones. Uh, GBS was there, Chili Compra was there. So our team studied all those platforms, the way they operate. And today I'm happy to share that we are among the top four and very soon we'll be in the top uh, three and inching ahead maybe someday, not very far from future, in future, we'll be at number one also. Uh, the growth so far has been uh, extremely good. We are on an exponential growth path. And uh, look at the base. Last year, the base was 38,000 crore, and we are going to do almost two and a half to three X times this year in one year. And going forward, even at the same level of growth or maybe at a reduced level of growth, there's a huge possibility that uh, we'll be closing in on somewhere on two lakh crore per annum uh, on a very sustained basis. We are also looking at foreign into other areas. I mean, we are trying to have different schemes for promoting our uh, small scale industries. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, come April, we'll ensure that uh, everybody in my office spends at least 15 days out in the field, trying to understand the problems, trying to make the journey more easy. One specific initiative I want to mention, which again flows from the vision of the prime minister. When he said that, you know, he has, uh, he has uh, dreams of even the panchayas or the urban local bodies being able to transact on our platform. So on both these fronts, uh, we are working very hard. In case of the panchayats, we are developing an integration with the Ministry of Panchayati Raj and uh, uh, for the urban local bodies as well. The idea here is that tomorrow, if a group of uh, entrepreneurs at the village level, if they want to sell a product on, to any government buyer, we can use certain filters, we can use certain you know ways uh, uh, enabled by technology so that that sale is possible within a small geography. It need not be that a buyer from Rajasthan sells to somebody in Kerala. Maybe a nearby, based on the pin code, nearby areas, they can source, procure uh, their product locally. This will be a huge empowerment for the people who are trying to, you know, breach that. Uh, I mean, they're not get, getting that activation energy to say in terms of an engineer. Jim uh, will provide that. In terms of integrations, we are very well integrated uh, in the sense uh, with all the banks, most of the banks. We have uh, uh, integrated with the GST portal, income tax, Aadhaar. So all the verifications happen uh, online. There's no need for any paperwork at all. You just need to upload. Even an income tax statement, when you upload, the number is fed into the system and the system automatically gets back to us saying that, yes, the amount of returns filed has been verified. So such is the power of technology. And uh, uh, I am a very firm believer that, you know, any problem in procurement, particularly, or for that matter, in any other field, be it med medical, be it education, technology can provide all the all possible answers. It has made life so different for, for all of us. The way we learn today, the way we transact today in the market. 
and gem i'm, I'm proud to say that gem has, be, has done its bit in the government procurement system we are also open to criticism we open it very um, we, we welcome it with open arms we have a very robust system in place which is being again improved upon uh, going forward we intend to you know benchmark our uh, parameters in the sense that where we stand today in terms of quality in terms of efficiency and we'll also spell out where we intend to be after say two years and then inform all our stakeholders at regular intervals that look we were at this level today we have moved up to say 10 percent up and we are moving in the right direction so uh, summing it all up i would just say that uh, the journey so far has been very good the journey has been a tremendous learning experience for all of us and as i mentioned earlier uh, we are aware of the shortcomings we always hope i mean op are open to all kinds of criticism we are we try and take it in the right stride and try to you know provide solutions rather than countering the any allegation which is uh, imposed uh, against us and uh, the way technology has been adopted at gem i'm sure that in the next two years three years time it will be a very seamless experience for all of us all the stakeholders i mean and uh, we'll continue with our uh, growth path my target is to go up to two lakh crore next year and maybe even beyond we can bring in other uh, areas of today we are only into goods and services tomorrow we can venture into other areas a lot of people do ask me at times that when are you opening a maybe a certain segment of gem 2 the entire uh, consumer segment we are even planning for that as i mentioned with the gi tag products once the pro project takes off we can perhaps showcase that those fantastic products to the entire nation through uh, a separate uh, maybe you know uh, platform on gem itself we are working on that and i'm sure that in the years to come uh, we'll be delivering on our promise pro promise of having a totally transparent a totally inclusive and a very efficient and a corruption free system Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Singh. Thank you very much, sir, for taking us through all the wonderful work done by Government e Marketplace in building Atmanirbhar Bharat. Now we'll move to the next session. Stay tuned, everyone. We'll take a short break here.